have found a beautiful elephant, as Taylor said, and it's so funny how I find the light changes so much faster than it does in South Africa. I'm sure that's got to do with the fact that we're so near the equator here. But isn't just this just a fantastic shot of space and, well, of course, the emperors of the wild? Just magnificent. And they're all just walking very gently across these plains, and I think that they will fetch up eventually in the riverine forest of the Mara River, because they're not too far from that now. They're about to cross over a road where you can see a group of tourists gobsmacked with delight, no doubt, at what they're watching now. Even the clouds are magnificent this afternoon. And thankfully, they don't look too threatening because that can be pretty frightening when you're a long way out from home, which we are right now. Now, Brentley o. Smith has just got on the radio and told me that there's a hyena den somewhere around here, so we'll see if we can find that after we've looked at these elephants. This is just too peaceful for words, isn't this? I don't know, there's a real sense of timelessness about this scene, I think. Probably has something to do with the elephants and probably quite a lot to do with my own psychological frailties. Well, yes, you see, R. Laura Moore, I agree with you in some respects. You say grey elephants, grey skies, but it's the, the skies are not grey, they're actually blue, but they look grey. There are no clouds at, but for the sort of puffy ones that you can see there, and that's the kind of strange light that you get here at this time of the day. And although it cannot by any means be described as golden hour, which of course we all talk about a lot when we're out on drive at sunset and sunrise, it has a quality to it that is very, very appealing. We're just going to turn around back this way and look at these chaps coming across the plains. I mean, that's very special. Isn't that great? I just think that's magnificent. I, I, yeah, it, it's just, it's, I just get an enormous sense of timelessness by this whole thing. All right, let's go back to Scott Dyson and find out what his lions are doing.